My name is Juliana Lipschitz, and I'm a young chaplain at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. We were trained as interfaith chaplain, and my background is Buddhist practice. For Buddhist, then I would recite the sutra, so I would introduce the Heart Sutra. Very short and very condensed and profound practice in it. I do mantra, but mantra I don't suggest people to do it because I'm not a teacher. The most helpful Buddhist practice with the patient is meditation because meditation really quickly brings the patient into calm state. Deep breathing, that's also part of the Buddhist practice. When I work with patients, when I practice with them, I myself is the one practicing too. I think the benefit of meditation for myself is I could gather myself quickly. And so when I remain calm, I'm in peace. And while I am in peace, somehow that spread to the people around me. Strengthen my awareness and then being able to maintain balance. And in a way, meditation also helped me to empty myself. In the hospital, a lot of trauma. And we cannot really carry all their trauma back home. The meditation helped me put body and mind together. And so once that together, then I'm a full person and you find your Buddha nature. So every moment is the practice. Zazen is this practice of just sitting in stillness or sitting with emptiness or sitting with just this present moment, but without engaging our habitual process of thinking and analyzing and critiquing and judging and planning. I can't think of maybe a more effective practice. Obviously, medication is hugely important. I mean, I really have a lot of respect for antidepressants, but I feel like meditation is in its way this medicine. You feel different in your own life, in your own skin. You might feel a little less anxious. You might feel a little less depressed. When I think about health and about meditation and health, the first thing that comes to mind so often is this, the physiological aspects of truly the, the health of our body and all these traditional measures that we might find in Western medicine. And what we learn more and more about the impact of having a meditation practice on our health in terms of things like our blood pressure. Um, our levels of stress hormones like cortisol. So there are all kinds of ways in which we know meditation has health benefits for just the physical body itself. But the part that I think gets even more interesting is when we think about what comes along with a meditation practice, which is changes in how you live your life. That there might actually start to be changes in the quality of your life and your wellness and your health because you're becoming more aware of some things. And so I think you see that people who have a deep meditation practice actually engage in healthier behaviors in their life. They might be more likely to exercise in ways or just be aware of what is it that actually increases my own wellness and my own well-being and what are the things I do that actually are maybe in subtle ways taking away from my own health or wellness. So we do have a healing service, and so the healing service is a moment where if someone in our community, they themselves aren't here uh, because they're sick or something's happening in their life, or it's a family member, a dear friend who is actually afflicted in some way, that we bring that name into the service. So we chant the Heart Sutra, we offer their name, and in that moment, we are asking for that energy of health and wellness to be brought into this person's life. And so when I think about a Sangha, right, Sangha is the community of practice. One of the things we do for each other is that there's a tremendous amount of care and support for everyone who's walking the path together. There's a bond you form, and that bond or that connection is something where when someone is wrestling with something, or struggling with something, you know, we're really there for each other.
曰：“揭谛揭谛，波罗揭谛，波罗僧揭谛，菩提萨婆诃。”